Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization 6. We are now playing the new DLC Rise and Fall. It is the midnight release of the game. I went ahead and just stayed up. We'll cover a little bit of the game. We won't go into too much of it, at least not in the beginning. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning visitor back to Civilization 6, be sure you go ahead now, both of you guys, and click on that watermark in the bottom right-hand corner so you can subscribe to the channel. Also, down in the published section, I'm going to include the, the Vanilla Patch Update. Yes, the Vanilla Patch Update. And you guys can read all of the newest additions that were added to Vanilla. And speaking of Vanilla, we will be playing it on Vanilla Gameplay. And uh, we will be going with a leader we've not seen played by other YouTubers, other than perhaps the... Development team, and that's going to be Lataro of the Mapuche, which is down in Chile and Argentina. And we'll give him a try, although I'm more of a science player. I figured I'd want to try out a different style. I would have liked to have gone with um, Scotland, of course. William the Bruce. But we'll try that out at another time. So let's go ahead and go to Advanced Setup. We're going to play on continents, and we'll play on standard size. Give it a little bit of depth. I will go with uh, abundant resources because that's kind of fun. Uh, we will go up to at least king difficulty. I do want to get a feel for the game to kind of see how it plays before we go up any higher. I don't necessarily want to play it right at level on prints. I might do that just on my own just to kind of experiment with it. Uh, my philosophy with the game with turn base is either you can play the game or the game can play you. And uh, there's a lot of reasons behind that, especially when you go up in higher difficulty. So let's go ahead and we'll keep everything else standard. And let's go ahead, guys, and jump in here. I'm just going to leave the leaders random. And let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to leave jump clips down in the published section. If you guys just want to skip certain sections, you can because this is going to go straight into the mini tutorial. But I'd want to at least let you guys see some of the mini tutorial because I don't know how much of the game you guys have seen yet. So we'll go ahead and jump into this now. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age to man taking his first upright steps from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. You did not liberate the Mapuche, young Lotaru. You inspired them to free themselves. Build totems to honor your ancestors and embolden their descendants. Such pride will fill the hearts of your cavalry as they redouble their raids into enemy lands. Stand with the Mapuche, axe bearer, and cast a singular shadow. Okay, now, so here we are on the tutorial, which welcomes us to the new game. So let's go to next. Uh, earn heroic moments by accomplishing great feats in the game. As you know, this will give us the little heroic, uh, like, timeline that will be in the game. And, of course, we get the new dial or the new cog that shows us error score, which is going to be very cool. I'm really looking forward to playing that. It kind of adds a little bit more dimension to the game as well and perhaps keeps people more in the eras instead of saying like beelining down the tech trees to be able to get to or catch up to the AI in some instances. So we'll probably be staying in some of the um, tech area trees before we advance to the next era. We'll just have to try that out. And then of course now we also have loyalty uh, and pressure throughout the map. So depending on where our cities are in relationship to other cities that will create uh, levels of different loyalty. And we'll be taking a look at that once we get into the game. And we also have governors, which is kind of fun. Um, in my original Civ 5 games, I really played a lot of diplomatic victories and felt like Civ 6 really lacked a lot of player interaction with the city-states. But with some of these, uh, these new governors, this should be interesting. And it's another reason why I want to play it kind of on a lower level to be able to maybe experiment with these guys a little bit more. And then um, 
We have alliances, which encourages more interactive play with the AI. Because Civ 6 was kind of lacking that. But now we have a, a little bit more of an incentive to interact with the, with the AI and them with us. And then we have emergencies. This should be kind of interesting. This is going to be one of those late game things where if an AI decides to backstab another AI, they can kind of gang up on the, the more malicious of the AI or the AI that's the most ahead, I suppose. If someone's getting way too far ahead, uh, this will help us out or maybe help the other AIs out. We'll have to see. And the city banner has been updated, so that's going to be kind of nice. There's going to be actually quite a bit of new UI changes. They didn't mention a whole lot of it in the patch notes, but I definitely encourage you guys to read those patch notes and see uh, what's all in there. All right, let's go ahead and jump in the game. And then, okay, so this is just a Warrior Civilization rule. Okay. All right, so I didn't go into settings to see. Wow, hello, wheat. <laughs> okay, so wheat's not going to be a problem. Uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and settle on spot because <laughs> that is that is awesome. And we're going to be right here next to the water. I just want to take a quick look at some of the... Here's the governor tab. And we'll go into that as we get closer to the governors. And here is the um, history timeline, as it were. Kind of lets you know um, how you progress in the game when you want to come back to. Here's reports. One of the things I would have liked to have seen uh, with this is um, being able to sort, like, say, by production and stuff. So we'll give that a test. We can't really do that right now because we don't have any cities. And, um, and then, of course, we have um, over here our error score. So 40 of 60. Dark Age, we need to get more than 11. Normal age, 12 to 23. And golden age, we need plus 24. All right, so and here it is down here on the dial. I can't see it as clearly because I have the um, shadow play down here. It's blocking that view. So if I go up here and look up here, guys, I just want to let you know it's because I can't see it down here. I'm going to have to move this uh, when we play next time. So let's go ahead and start the city. I'm not going to be playing for too long. It is kind of late here. Um, I got an early morning tomorrow. But we'll play a little bit. I just want to get you guys or reintroduce everyone back into the game. So I'm really looking forward to playing it. I think these changes that they've added um, will really bring a lot more appeal back to the game. All right. I am playing on vanilla, so it may take me a minute or two to readjust to playing on it. Um, I will just stick with food for right now and let our city grow. So it's going to be a little slow with building, but that's okay. We're going to go with uh, a slinger. And let's see, we're going to need irrigation to work those tiles. So um, let's see. We can get a boost for it by doing the wheat at some point. So we'll go ahead and just go ahead and go with pottery just to get it started. All right. I'm just a tiny bit rusty with the game. So uh, it's been a, little, been a little while since I've played. So hopefully I can still manage to um, keep things going smoothly. And we already have a scout. Very nice. We'll go ahead and take care of that. Oh, I wanted to show you guys, too. Hasn't been mentioned very much, but they did change the graphics on the... Um, let's see if I remember how to twist it. There we go. On the uh, scouts now. And they have, like, a little wolf instead of the dog. And it's kind of like a barbarian kind of guy. There. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's very thoughtful. They put a lot of thought into the game and added these little neat little features to it and UI... Some of the things, I don't know, I guess some people just don't notice those kind of things. I do, I just kind of like them. They're kind of neat. And just overall UI changes, too. Uh, newer filters, of course. Um, like, uh, let's see, political, for example, is a new filter. Loyalty is a new filter. All right, we're going to go ahead and just move this way. Excellent. Okay, so we have a um, tribal village and amber. One of the new resources that's in the game, and tobacco. Oh, there's another one over here, too. Cool. And it looks like we got some great places for an additional city over in this area, perhaps. All right, so now we have some pop. Let's take a look at our city again. And that looks good. We will work that. All right, 
So we found the barbarians. And within six tiles, we're supposed to get error score. Um, two points, I believe, or three points max if it's within six. We'll have to see what we get here. So I'm going to rest up first, though, because we're a little injured. And here's our slinger. We'll go ahead and send him over this way. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and go with a warrior. I'm going to play very similar to the way I play when I'm playing higher difficulties, just because they did increase barbarians. Must feel happy in the good or barbarian, barbarian play. So I'm curious uh, how aggressive they're going to be, which is another thing I wanted to see. And we are going to get irrigation, so let's go ahead and go with mining. So we can work that stone at some point. We'll probably have most of these by the time we um, get our... Uh, Builder. All right. And another tribal village. We probably should go for that one. And just see if we can get an update. Oh, Gandhi. Okay. Hello, Gandhi. Where is Gandhi? I don't see a scout or anything. At least not yet. Let's, I'm going to head up to that in case he's around here, and I don't want him to grab that from us. And we'll, clo oh, there he is. Okay, we'll close in on that. We should be able to reach it with no problem. And um, maybe he'll put some more damage on that uh, pikeman over there. That'd be not, or spearman. That would be nice. Looking forward to some of the newer units that are in the game, too. That's going to be kind of cool. Of course, yeah, go after the, um. Go after my guy. Don't go after Gandhi at all. That would be typical, right? All right, we're going to have to pull our guy out of here or around this way. All right. We'll try to stay friendly with Gandhi just to kind of see. And we will go with Discipline, and we will go with God King. Go ahead and get those going. If we should enter into a dark age, we'll have new policies. So those are going to be kind of neat to check out. They have good modifiers, and they also have some negative modifiers. All right, so Rome. So far, we've not had any of the newer sieves. Now, I enjoy playing Rome in my games because Rome does get monuments right away when you build cities and roads immediately. So that kind of gives you a nice advantage when you are... Um, Playing at higher difficulties comes in handy. And we met uh, Mahandra Daro. Let's go with uh, foreign trade. Probably be able to find a continent here at some point. But if not, we'll hard build it. That goes back to the um, you can play the game or the game can play you philosophy. All right, we'll just stay right over in here and heal up. Well, I did want to get that... Um, barbarian camp if possible to get our update so let me just go ahead and leave our warrior right here let's go ahead and update him we're gonna send this guy over here i want to keep the slinger healed just in case all right now we're gonna go with our scout all right i'm gonna take his delegation who deserves more credit than the wife of a all right. And I'm just going to keep an eye on our city over here. So we'll keep the warrior over here. He should be able to manage the barbarians. I'm kind of curious how they're going to behave. We'll go ahead and go with riding. We don't have any horses or anything in the area, so animal husbandry is not a necessity. Not critical. All right, so here they come. Let's. I'll go ahead and deal with the warrior and I might pull this warrior back let's see what we have over here okay yeah that's going to be interesting okay so he's going to need to stay over here because he's going to go for our slinger again that's fine maybe they'll come to us but it's interesting to see alright so we got Gandhi over here helping us out so maybe I will hold tight here and let that slinger sling yeah I don't think we'll be able to ninja the camp, or maybe we can. But I do want to get that kill. Oh, wait. Okay. 
Yeah, I thought that was uh, his his guy. All right, yeah, we can definitely maybe pull off a kill here. At least we can get it here. These mountains are giving us a nice buffer. All right, I think our slinger should be okay, but let's just back him up. I don't... I'm not sure if we can actually get the kill. No? No. Doggone it. Well, yeah, he's going to attack with this warrior. Well, it was worth a try. Maybe we can pull something off here. Maybe the barbarians or something will do that. Now they're going to grab it from us. Yep. Okay, well, all right. It could always be worse. So that Gandhi is really close to us. So that will be um, interesting to see where he tries to forward settle. Not seeing a lot of good places right now for our next city. But we'll look around and see once we get a scout going. All right. Let's go ahead and get him going. And we will go with another slinger. And I'm just going to fortify right here for now. Well, I guess we can go after this uh, scout for a minute. And we'll fortify here. I'm sure we'll probably find some barbarians around here somewhere that we can... Hopefully get this uh, slinger. Actually, it'd be a good idea. Maybe the slinger over here will be able to get this scout or this camp. That's what we'll do. There is no shame in deterrence. Having the okay. All right. I'm just gonna post him up here. Post him up to heal. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I uh, appreciate you guys coming back and watching these Civ games. I'm looking forward to playing more. It's just really late tonight. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of at least get a video out to you guys. You can, at this point, click on the icon you see on the screen to subscribe with that. And I will see you in the next game.